report I am. Computer, research I must. Google the eBay! Hmm, Jabba the Hutt, sexy and attractive he is, hmm. Hey, Skull tries to give me permission of losing the computer. Oh, uh, mm, yeah. an idiot I am. The better apologize to Stud to also make me a savage. Hmm, did you my head is? Could you please scratch it for me, please? No, you look like Shrek has gone into a midget. Hmm, scratch your head, you aren't. Die, you must. Ah! <laughs> you don't want a scooby sack. Want to hear a funny joke? Ah! Hello fellow geeks and nerds, it is I, Daniel, but you may call me the pop culture dude. It's been a while since I make a video, I just recovered from the flu I've been struggling with, so I'm no longer sneezing, but I still got a little bit of mucus I spit out, so if I cough, I apologize. But, originally, I was about to make a Spider-Man 3 fan predictions theories video for my last Spider-Man video I'm gonna make, but until then, on Monday, October 21st, when the big game, a sports game, has to drop another Star Wars trailer, I'm like... Come on, Star Wars. I mean, look, we're excited to see Rise of Skywalker. Don't get me wrong. We're only like two months away until the movie comes out in December 20th. Kind of like what almost every Star Wars movies always come out during Christmas time so we can get that Star Wars merch under our Christmas trees. But usually, I think the last trailer that I just made like two months like two months ago, yeah, I believe it. It was during D23. I think the last trailer was just so good enough. Like there isn't really need to make another one. I mean, I hate it that they had to extend trailers just to get another one. I get it. It's order to keep the fans high, but also don't spoil too much. And that's what I'm just saying, like, I'm pretty skeptical. I mean, I have to see this trailer myself, but other than that, I just feel like we don't really need another one. I think the last one was just too good that we just don't need another one. But anyway, it's really ironic that it just got posted and it wasn't just during a sports game. I mean, it's not that new when it comes to Star Wars trailers. I mean... They did the same thing with Rogue One, like they leak it during like a sports game sometime somewhere in Good Morning America, Jimmy Kimmel Live, some other networks that they have to drop in the trailers. But now they just drop it on October 21st, which is also Carrie Fisher's birthday. Rest in peace, may the force be with you. But to me, like what I said, this is the end of the Skywalker saga, and hopefully this final trailer does justice and still keeps a little bit of teasing, but don't reveal way too much. Anyway, I'm just... Let's just see how this trailer goes. Gotta put my headgear on, and we'll officially just start the trailer in three, two, one, go. Okay, Lucasfilm's logo. Like that. Whoa. It's an instinct. Way to go, Ray. Oh, Force Awakens callback. I know that's Finn talking, not Luke. Whoa, that shot looks pretty good. We're I see Lando. Good Rose. Fight Carrie Fisher's daughter? Wow. So many characters people all one scene. Telling me they know me. No one does. Do they? I do. Of course you do. You've been stalking her ever since The Last Jedi with your weird, of course, force thing. Wait. A giant ice Long island? Have I waited? Palpatine. And now. Are we having a space titanic in Star Wars? Millennium Falcon? Together. Finally, Chewie's more useful than the last Jedi. Is your undoing. Ah, so he's the one who wanted this. What, uh, what are you doing there, 3PO? Taking one last look, sir. One last look? At my friends. Come on! Don't tell me you have to kill a C-3PO. I am so tired of classic Star Wars characters being killed off in the sequel trilogy. Come on! Okay, the music. John Williams is pretty good. Oh, Lando. Saga with Lin. Looks like it. Story lives on forever. Pretty much legacy, because Star Wars never dies. I mean, seriously. Bum, 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 bum. Cloak. Palpatine? That's gotta be Palpatine. The Force will be with you. Always. 
That was both Luke and Leia's voice, like the Force will be with you always. Are you sure Rey is not a Skywalker? Has Kylo Ren been lied to him that her parents were nobody? Come on, at least something. Why was Rey the chosen one? So many questions. December 20th, tickets allowed. Well, that trailer was something. I mean, like I said, I kind of prefer the last trailer because the last trailer was a bit more faithful with all the flashbacks of the Skywalker saga, but I'm really surprised that, of course, from this trailer alone, like, it's a good thing they didn't reveal way too much, but at the same time, it was actually kind of looked promising. I mean, of course, tickets are on sale right now. I mean, that's one of the reasons why they made this trailer. But in the end, I'm like, well, we'll see how this goes. J.J. Abrams, I'm counting on you. Okay, let me go back to one of my complaints. And when C-3PO says, I'm going to take one last look at my friends, and I'll be like, do not kill off C-3PO. We already kill off Han Solo in Force Awakens, because Harrison Ford doesn't want to be Han Solo anymore. You kill off Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi, and sure, Leia is not dead, but Carrie Fisher is, and even Owl Artbar was dead in Last Jedi. I'm like, stop killing off original characters in the new Star Wars trilogy. If you kill off C-3PO, R2-D2, or even Chewbacca Orlando, we have a problem, AJ Abrams, and to you too, Lucasfilms. But other than that, to me, like I said, even though this is supposed to be the Skywalker saga's conclusion, even though the one thing that's really sad, there isn't really that much lack of Skywalkers on screen. I mean, I guess Kylo Ren is considered one because he is the son of Han Solo and Leia, so that makes him half a Solo and half of a Skywalker as well. But Ray, like we said, is she, are you sure she is a Skywalker? I mean, we been predicted. I mean, last Jedi, they're oh, they're just nobody. They just drop you off, and they, of course, they're just scavengers and write about you off for a drink and all that. And the one thing that, of course, that just really surprises me be like when Luke says the Force will be with you always. And Leia did say like back in Force Awakens, made the Force will be with you when she was on the Millennium Falcon with Chewbacca to find Luke by the end of Force Awakens. And to me, that's like a somewhat tease, like. Are you sure that she could be related? But if not, then maybe she's a Kenobi or Jen Ezra from Star Wars Rogue One. Actually, never mind that she was never a mother, so forget about that theory. So other than that, like I said, there's so many possibilities about Rey's true identity, her true origin, because she doesn't believe that no one has ever known where she comes from. But Kylo Ren's like, but I do. Like I said, I think Kylo Ren is the one, of course, he's, I mean, obviously he wants to, like, smooch and kind of get, like, the Ray Lowe fan fiction that most people, even Daisy Ridley herself, has says, oh, this film will address that even more. But, like I said, I'm not sure if they're going to build a full detail. I mean, they're still fighting against each other, like, obviously, in that Death Star that's been destroyed. And the one thing that was so cool about the destroyed Death Star, we see Palpatine's throw be like, well, it makes sense because this is the same Death Star uh, art that Palpatine has died in Return of the Jedi. And speaking of Return of the Jedi, I see one Return of the Jedi callback, or maybe even two. It's when Lando and Chewbacca was on the Millennium Falcon, like we said, Return of the Jedi vibes. But also when Rey's is running on this jungle area on the planet where she's running and training for herself, kind of reminds me of the last trailer where she decided to sling a lightsaber at a tree. It kind of reminds me, of course, that area that's been run in Return of the Jedi. It reminded me of that too. I mean, I don't think it's not going to be like a complete copy of Return of the Jedi because the one thing that's different is they have a catastrophic war. Like we see, of course, riding on animals on land. And of course, we're going to have a space battle like up in the sky. And eventually they have those Millennium Falcons, the TIE Fighters and this giant ice island. And I'm like, is this supposed to be the Titanic crossover with Star Wars? Is James Cameron and Leonardo DiCaprio involved in this production? And I don't want to talk about that as well. But in other the cases, like hopefully like even though this movie is, I'm, like I said before, I'm so glad that they are reuniting the three original characters of this new generation of the sequel trilogy, which is Ray, Finn, and Poe Dameron. I don't want to confuse myself with Poe Dameron and my name of Kung Fu Panda. Man, that would be cool if he was in Star Wars. <laughs> anyway, like I said, it's so good that they're, and it's good that Chewbacca is actually doing something like being part of the team instead of just sitting around and trying to eat a pork. But at least Chewie's just a little bit more useful for the team. And hopefully Lando gets a lot more screen time. I know some people are having predictions like, what is Finn's origin besides being a store trooper used to work for Kylo Ren? Could he be related to Kylo Ren? I don't know. There's so many theories about, oh, these could possibly be the parents of Rey or Finn. There are so many Star Wars theories. And after that, they get disappointed that most of their theories have been debunked. But the question is, how is Palpatine still... I'm not saying he's like physically alive but still his dark apprentice is still around i mean we could still hear luke's voice and even leia like the force is still strong with ray but also there could be like a dark side with them and speaking of dark sided i remember the last trailer where it just shows dark ray so 
you're telling me, is Ray gonna, like, is she gonna become Dark Ray, or it's a vision, or is that supposed to be a clone, or is Palpatine trying to, like, you know, go into Ray's deeper emotions, kind of like what I, we see in, like, when Ray's struggling in, like, different visions, like in Force Awakens, when she saw her pass, and then Luke with R2-D2, and then Kylo Ren, and then The Last Jedi, where she just falls in that underwater cave, and she thought she would find answers of her parents, and then when we see, like, Ray and Kylo Ren just taken down, of course, I'm so glad that Kylo Ren's wearing the helmet again, because I was disappointed, I'm like, why ditch off the helmet in The Last Jedi? A lot of kids in Halloween likes to dress up in the Kylo Ren helmet, and to me, he looks better, and of course, I like it when he starts talking like this. And to me, if he just took off the helmet, I'm like, oh, great. You look like an emo cosplayer at a Star Wars convention, looking like you're Goth Vader. Put the helmet back on. It makes you look cooler. But I'm surprised they're actually working together again in Last Jedi. So I guess they're, of course, their connection and, of course, their trust, of course, issues that they're eventually, like, their relationship is kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like mixed off. Like, oh, we're helping together or we're fighting against each other. Is it kind of like similar while... Luke was with Darth Vader like back in Return of the Jedi it's gonna be something like that I'm comparing Rise of Skywalker to Return of the Jedi so much into this but other than that there are so many like I definitely believe that this movie is gonna have emotional send-off and hopefully I'm not saying this movie will top Empire Strikes Back because luckily there I don't think there's any other Star Wars movie that has ever topped Empire Strikes Back, because that's a masterpiece, but just make it at least good, like Force Awakens, I mean, I think Force Awakens was good, Last Jedi, yeah, I was pretty mixed about that, and at least, of course, nothing like the prequels, because definitely not like that, I wouldn't be surprised if Jar Jar makes a cameo, like, oh, I'm inside here, and then he just dies just out of nowhere, like, I don't know, an explosion, or I don't know, a stormtrooper just shoots at him, and when I saw the stormtroopers, like, getting fall down, I'm like, I know it's pretty cheesy, but can I please hear the Will scream again, like, the Will hand scream, like, ah! When they usually got shot from the original Star Wars films, that would be hilarious. But other than that, I could definitely tell that this movie has a really good job of world building. The cinematography looks good. The action sequences look epic. And John Williams' music, like, I'm so sad that this is his last one, but to me, it's worth it. Like, it, the way that this music of the Star Wars theme has been dialed up to 11, like, da, 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 da. I'm like, woo, it's giving me in the feels. And another thing, Yoda needs to make a cameo. I mean, he did make a cameo in The Last Jedi, but still, if this is going to be the last Star Wars movie, Yoda needs to make another cameo as a Force ghost, maybe interact with Rey or with Luke. That has to happen, guarantee. You hear me, Lucasfilms? You're hearing me, JJ? Just... Just tell me, just make Puppet Yoda come here or else he'll just annoy you with funny jokes. But other than that, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, I mean, after this, we're not going to have any more Star Wars movies, right? Right? All right, I, I remember, like, this is the last Skywalker saga film, but there's still going to be more Star Wars movies. Kevin Foggy's going to make his own, the Game of Thrones writers. I mean, come on. Disney's not gonna let go of Star Wars. I mean, Star Wars is the most iconic franchise of all time that's been living over 40 years, even though in the trailer says the saga will end, but the story lives forever. And I mean, that's true because Star Wars is never gonna die anytime soon. I mean, you know, Star Wars makes Disney money, so that's why they're gonna make, of course, a lot of stuff. Like, when I saw Star Wars Rise of Skywalker, I mean, if there's not that much Skywalker in the screen, I mean, sure, we hear Luke and Leia's voice, but this is more focused on Palpatine, so why not call it Star Wars, the rise of Palpatine? You better go to Galaxy's Edge, or else you do it. If he does not say do it, and of course in the film, I'll be really disappointed on that. But other than that, hopefully Rise of Skywalker is at least something like Force Awakens and less of Last Jedi or even the prequels. I won't say it won't be as great as Empire Strikes Back, but at least be the best Star Wars film in the sequel trilogy, at least. Something like that. So, JJ, we're counting on you. It's on you, buddy. But other than that, that's all I have to say about Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. The movie's like coming like two months from now for during Christmas, and hopefully I could still make... Well, I originally did like make it a Spider-Man video and a Batman reboot video, but the Star Wars trailer, I just had to get that out of the way. But hopefully you guys really, of course, enjoyed this trailer reaction and my breakdown thoughts, and I'll just let you keep you updates of any more news and trailer reactions that's going to come up. Well, that's it for today, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be notified for more future videos. And I have to say, may the Force be with you. And if Puppet Yoda doesn't come back, I will share you with another funny joke! <laughs>